Bonjour, mes amis. It's me, Creole Lady Marmalade. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, bienvenue. So, for today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick glimpse into my French learning journey. So, as I said in previous videos, I want to start learning French for 2024. So, I wanted to start my journey showing you guys where I'm starting from. You know, giving you an example of what my abilities are right now. And then I'll check in periodically to show my growth throughout the process. So, for right now, I'm starting basically from zero. Um, I wouldn't say zero, 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 but I mean, pretty much. So, like I've said in other videos, I'm a Louisiana Creole. I come from a family who did speak French once upon a time. Most of my great grandparents who are mainly Creole or Cajun, they spoke French back in their day. But as we all know, the history of Louisiana, French was outlawed. People were discouraged from using it. Um, most of our, most Creoles and Cajuns from Louisiana all have the same story. Our grandparents or great grandparents spoke it and they weren't able to or didn't pass it down to the rest of us. So I am one of those Louisiana Creoles who wants to learn French to get in touch with my heritage because that is the language of my people, uh, Louisiana French and Kurivini. I will be learning French though, but I will be incorporating some Kurivini vocabulary and I'm learning French just because I want to be able to speak to everyone in the Francophone world. Not enough people speak Kurivini. Um, so I do eventually want to learn Kurivini next. Uh, but you know, if I get around to it, that's the goal, but you know, you know how humans are. So my journey thus far with French, uh, it started basically in college. Um, I was a Spanish major. I went to University of New Orleans for Spanish. And while I was there, I took two French classes, French one and French two. I took German while I was there too. I think I took two German classes, one or two, but I also took French one and French two. I was planning on making French my major, but I ended up leaving school my junior year. So I didn't get around to finishing, but that would have eventually become my major. But so when I was there, I was taking a whole lot of online classes. Um, and I just kind of, my head wasn't in it at that time. And I didn't really learn much French. I just did whatever to pass the class. You know, the same old story, like when you take languages in high school and college, like you just do what you have to do to pass. And especially with the classes being online, you know, I could just cheat basically while I'm taking the test. So I retained basically zero from college. Um, so fast forward, my next exposure to French was when my daughter, my younger daughter, who's nine now, she went to a French immersion school uh, for pre-K through first grade. So both my daughters actually went to this school, but my older one, she started going to the school in second grade. So she was too old to get into the French immersion. You have to get in by kindergarten, but you pretty much by pre-K really. Uh, they prefer to take them at pre-K. So my older daughter got into that school in second grade. So she was in the Montessori program. My younger one, from pre-K through first grade was in the French immersion program. Uh, the reason why she left in first grade is because we ended up moving, but be that as it may. So while she was, you know, so little uh, in French school, I was exposed to a lot of French through her. And then COVID hit when she was in kindergarten. So then she had to do virtual learning. So that's where I had to step in and facilitate and help. You know, she was too little to do the computer stuff by herself. So I, that's the most exposure I'd ever gotten to French was through my daughter going to a French immersion school. So that's why I say I'm not necessarily starting from zero. Um, it's just, I can't hold a conversation in French or anything like that, but I learned the things that a kindergartner would learn. My numbers, colors, days of the week. I can, I know my numbers up to like a hundred. Uh, days of the week, you know, basic, extremely basic phrases and words, um, you know, just very, very, very basic stuff that a little kid would be learning is what I learned with my daughter when she was in school. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That's that's my history with the language. Um, my motivation for learning it, like I said, is because I am Creole. Being Creole and not being able to speak French or Kurivini is like being Puerto Rican and not being able to speak Spanish like it's it doesn't make sense but um yeah so let me give you guys an example of 
I don't I don't even know what to say because I can't say much. Um, bonjour. Je m'appelle Dominique. Je suis actrice. Je suis de ED, Nouvelle Orléans. J'habite en Louisiane. Je suis créole. Je suis américaine. Uh, J'habite en les États-Unis. Um, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 9, 18, no, no. 17, 18, 19, 20, and etc. etc. Beaucoup. We, that's, that's something we never stop saying in Louisiana. Beaucoup. Uh, oh, and I know the first three lines to the Our Father prayer. Notre Père qui est aux cieux, que votre nom soit sanctifié. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, and there's this other thing I used to say all the time as a kid. I was saying it all wrong. Je suis la jeune fille. I don't know if that sounds familiar to y'all, <laughs> but it's from the Muzzy commercial in the 90s. Je suis la jeune fille. Yes, that's French they're speaking. And no, these children aren't French. They're American. And they've acquired their amazing new language skills from Muzzy. So back then there was like this VHS set of uh, language learning tapes for children and I, oh, I wanted it so bad. I wanted a muzzy tape for Spanish so bad. But on the commercial, so it was like for all these different languages, but on the commercial there was a little girl saying, Je suis la jeune fille. And which is, I'm, I'm a little girl or I'm the little girl, something like that. Or I'm the young girl, something of the sort. But it, I was, when I was little, I was like, just me legend fee. Like I was saying it's so wrong, but now that I know it's je suis, I am la jeune fille, the young girl, the little girl, something of the sort. But I know fee is girl, uh la is the. So yeah, that's some of the sentences I can say. Oh, and I know my days of the week. Uh I, does it start with Monday? I think it starts with Monday. Lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi. Dimanche. Uh, so yeah, that's 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 uh, that's that's what I'm working with right now. So stick with me and watch me evolve. So this video was super short because I don't know much. That's about it. I know other little words. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say every little word that I know, but that's these are the only sentences I could try to come up with. So welcome to my little journey. It's gonna be very enriching, and like I say, I'm still learning Spanish. And as y'all know, I'm also part Nicaraguan, so I'm learning Spanish for that part of myself, and I am learning French for this part of myself, and it's very exciting. So yeah, like I said, I'm doing the comprehensible input method, and that is where I'm just mostly going to be watching content. Comprehensible input means just constantly taking in content, taking in content, but comprehensible content. So no, I'm not going to go turn on the French news and just start watching, you know, french movies and, and news and stuff i have to find stuff that is you know where they speak slow and clear and about basic topics and there's illustrations and reading children's books and french cartoons and, and stuff where i can there's a lot of context clues and pictures and things to force me to understand what's being said without translating anything um and that that forces your brain to acquire the language in the same way that we acquired english when we were little we weren't taught what a verb is and, and and you know the parts of speech and how to use the language we were just simply spoken to and we just picked up on the language so you just I'm, i just have to take the language in and just acquire it naturally acquire a vibe for it, even if i'm not able to say you know why it's right to say it this way because in english we don't know why this is right or that is wrong we just have a feeling for it because that's just what we grew up on so that's what comprehensible input is. It just teaches you a natural intuition for the language. Um, so yes, uh, I look forward to going on this journey and I hope you guys are going on this journey with me. I would love to hear from you guys. Drop me comments down below, hit me up, let me know what your journeys are looking like. I would love for us to do this together and keep in touch and keep each other abreast to our journeys because I think this is, I, I mean, I always think learning a new language is just a good thing for anybody in general, but I'm especially trying to urge Louisiana Creoles and Cajuns to pick up French or Kudivini, um, just any French dialect, um, just for our heritage. I, I just really want more of us 
to acknowledge our heritage and, and you know, come together on that. But for anybody learning any language, because I, I love languages in general, like I'll sit and I've dabbled in this language and that language. I'm nowhere near a polyglot, but I mean, I'll just, <laughs> I'll learn about the little, oh, okay, so this language works like this, or that word is that word in that language. Like nowhere near learning the language, but just little tidbits of this language and tidbits of that language. I love watching language learning videos, just about the, the art of learning languages in general. I am fascinated with languages. Um, the uh what do you call that etymology of words i love learning about you know root words and, and why this word came to mean this after so many generations what, what language did it originate in and why is it now mean this when it used to mean that you know just anything to do with words language that's my jam so i would love to hear you guys stories that have anything to do with language learning no matter what the language is i think learning any second language third language fourth language i think learning any new language is cool so please tell me about it down below um and uh i look forward to doing this with you guys so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys soon au revoir